Google Scholar is a search engine you can use to do simple searching for journal articles. When you search, it shows you scholarly material that Google can see on websites around the world. You'll be able to read some of the things you find in full, but not everything. My search is on public engagement with science. I'm using the date filter on the left hand side to see things published from 2016 onwards. Look down your results list to see if your search includes potentially useful things. If not, try some other words. In this example, I could also search for citizen science, science festivals or community engagement in science and so on. Try a few different approaches to make sure you get a good range of results. Let's have a look at how to access full articles now. Links on the right hand side of your results show articles that are available to read. Click on these to access the full version. Set your library links in Google Scholar to get the full text at AIU links so you don't miss out on content from the library. Find out how to do this on the library website. The title link won't always work so it's best to use the links on the right hand side. Clicking on full text at AIU opens a library record. Use the link under Find Online to get to the article. Some things don't have a full text link on the right hand side. That means they're not available to read in full. Clicking on the title link will show you the abstract but it will usually ask you to pay to see the full article. Use our interlibrary loan service on the library website to request a copy free of charge. Let's have a look at some things you can use to find more material once you've got your initial search results. Sometimes you find something useful, like this article on citizen science, and it would be good to find more like it. The cited by link under the article shows more recent material that is referred to it. The related articles link shows material that is similar. Both of these features may or may not show results that are useful for you, but they're quick and easy to use, so worth a try. Click on the underlined author's name to find other things they've written. I've clicked on VY Martin to see their other publications. Once you've found some interesting material, it's good to keep a record of it. Here are some things to help. Use the star below a reference to store the details in your Google Scholar library. You'll need a Google account to do this. Clicking on My Library in the top right hand side of my screen shows references I've saved. Quickly capture a reference using the quotation mark symbol. This will show you references in different referencing styles. Choose the one that you want but make sure the reference is accurate before you use it. You can also push the reference out to RefWorks from this pane too. If you don't get what you want from your initial searches and you've already used library search it's important to know what to do next. Google Scholar has an advanced search feature too. Find it under the three lines on the top left of the screen. This gives you a few more search options if the simple search is not finding quite what you want. It's really important to think about your topic and the keywords to use and to try different approaches. Google Scholar is a great resource but it doesn't have everything you might need and it can sometimes overwhelm you with results. For really good, flexible, comprehensive or in-depth searching, use some of the databases that are listed on your subject guide. Find your subject guide on the library website under the Help and Quick Link section.